Hey YouTube, it's JG24, JM26 here with another edition of my Diecast Review. Today we have Kyle Larson's number 42 Target Chevrolet that he won at Michigan International Speedway in August of 2016. Now, as I've mentioned before, my Diecast Reviews, they aren't traditional diecast reviews. What I do here is I say what I like about the diecast and why people should buy it. Or convince them. Give them my opinions on what I like about it. So right here we have Kyle Larson's Michigan win as I've stated before. There's a ton of confetti on the diecast. It looks really nice. And I like this diecast because this is his first career victory and I was also in attendance for the race because I am from the state of Michigan as some of you may know so what I like about the diecast like I stated before it's from my home track it's his first career victory I like the damage from the burnout I think that was pretty neat he had an awesome burnout as well very nice burnout I like the burnout damage. I like all the confetti. Um, what I would convince people to buy the diecast, it's his first career victory. It's historic in a way if he goes on to be what he has the potential to be. So this diecast could be the start of a legendary career for Kyle Larson. Or it could be, you know, just another Casey Kane would be a good example expected to be something huge and turns out just to be an average race car driver I know that's just my opinion but Casey Kane over the past five years has vastly underperformed at Hendrick Motorsports but Kyle Larson has the opportunity to do something huge with his career and with this diecast being his first career win and an exciting race I say get this diecast any possible chance you can get because I know they produced a lot but in a couple years this might be a hard diecast to find so I would get it early like I did I just got it recently in the mail don't know when this video will be up obviously as I record in bulk but yeah this diecast turned out to be really amazing and I'm really happy with my choice and I hope everybody wants to buy this diecast as well it's a very nice diecast this is JG24 JM26 signing out